Hello everyone, welcome to TechTed.com. In this lecture, we will understand basics of IP addressing system. Okay, so this whole lecture is planned to give you a quick revision of IP addressing system, and this lecture is intended to include in 45 days sprint, which is uh, happening on TechTed.com. So make sure you have joined it to watch this video, and. While recording this video, I assume that you have already some knowledge of, you know, basics about uh, how computer network works. So I'll not be going to too much details, but I will assume that mm, you know few things, few basics. But if you get any confusion and if you uh, are not able to understand anything in between, so you are always welcome to ask your doubts on doubt section of TechTed.com. Okay, so well, let's start. <clears throat> so, in computer networks, the problem of identification was solved using IP addressing system. Okay, so what I'm saying, problem of identification, it means that let's say let's assume a scenario let's uh, here we have a network okay and we have some other network here okay and these two networks are connected using some mechanism okay via internet let's say so how the host here let's say h1 and the host here let's say h2 will connect or will communicate with each other right so this is a problem of identification here we have let's say 1 million 1 million networks okay now 1 million host nodes or users and here let's say we have 10 million users right so a simple packet a packet is being sent from this network from this network and from this host to this network and H2 right now the problem is how this packet will travel through throughout the network and how it will identify that it has to be sent to H2 right so this is the problem of identification and it was solved using various things which we will understand here right now so <clears throat> the first one is the using IP address okay so we will understand that in each IP address okay we have some part is network ID and some part let's say these this is some some random IP address I'm writing okay and this is host ID okay so the first step is to identify the network the network in which this packet has to this packet has to be transferred so the network ID will help to identify to which network this packet will go okay and then so the first one this network ID will help to identify which network so network is identified right inside this network this host ID okay this host ID will help to identify the host okay so host is identify identified using this host ID and of course in this process another addressing system which is Mac okay or physical address so physical address of the system is used physical address okay so using or with the help of this physical address this host is identified fine now there may also be a situation that in a single host multiple processes are running so let's say uh, I'm in a system in a system I'm using Chrome as well as Firefox 
both are communicating using this HTTP protocol okay or HTTPS so both are communicating using this HTTP or HTTPS protocol to a website Tectid so Tectid uses HTTP Tectid.com right now if Tectid is sending a packet to this computer how it is identified that to which to which browser Chrome or Firefox or to which application it will go okay so that is done with the help of with the help of port number port number okay so which application is interacting on which port number and also this is uh, like some other parameters like uh, I mean using this port number and IP address the socket is created all these things happen so that we will discuss later so this is how the problem of identification is solved right so in this the major part is this logical IP addressing system which we will understand now so let's understand IP address in more detail so this IP addressing system or this IP address has 32 bits okay so 32 bits so it is divided into four parts okay 8 8 bit and we call it octet okay so we take 8 bit together and we call it octet so first octet second third fourth right so this is 32 bit now it has two part two parts what are they they are NID okay that is network ID and HID okay that is host ID so from this 32 bit we take some bits as NID and some bits as HID host ID right so that we will see how it is divided and inside a network so let's say I am using this first octet this first octet as NID okay then the, these remaining are HID right so inside a network the host IDs are unique so these are the fundamental things about IP addressing now let's understand what is classful architecture of IP addressing system okay so as name suggests these 32 bits IP addressing system was given some class and that is called classful architecture so or majorly we have three classes which is being used but we will learn five classes so classes are from A to E so A B C D and E okay so these five classes are there let's understand it one by one 